Man, once again, I'm here to do another predictions video. Wait, but is it a wait? This is actually the good show. Oh, I forgot. There's a there's a good show. There's a good pay per view this Sunday called NXT Takeover Thirty One, and I'm gonna do my predictions. Uh, you're you're welcome. Here we go. Your longest reigning Iron Horse wrestling champion is here to do his predictions for TakeOver 31. NXT TakeOver 31. The first match we have is Johnny Gargano versus Damian Priest for the North American Championship. This should be a great match. But I do not think, with the outcome I just saw with the mixed tag with Gargano and Candice LeRae winning, I do not see Johnny Gargano winning. I see my boy Damien. I love Gargano. Obviously, you know I do. I, I use my theme song as my uh, for my entrance. I have the Ryan way, the Gargano way. Very similar. Um, and... Um, I just think Damien Priest needs to hold on to it long, a little bit longer. He hasn't had many title defenses, so I'm going with, my boy. I'm going with Damien Priest, but going to be a great match with Mr. Takeover, Johnny Gargano. Next up, we have the Cruiserweight Championship. We have Isaiah Swerve Scott, the challenger, versus the champion... Cruiserweight champion Santos Escobar. This should be another really good match. The matches have been pretty good here. Um, I think Isaiah Swerve Scott's going to win just because he's lost all two opportunities. I think he's had two opportunities and lost. What? So I'm just going to go with that. But I'm going to go with a new Cruiserweight champion. Swerve time, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Next up, we have match of the night, honestly, right here. A rematch from take from NXT TakeOver Toronto. Io Shirai defends her NXT Women's Championship against Candice LeRae. Now... With what I said with Gargano, I do see Candice LeRae becoming the new women's champion. I would love to see her win the title. She has never won it. I'm a huge Candice LeRae fan. I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of both. They had a great take over Toronto match. EO won that one. I think it's only fitting we give this one to Candice. And, yeah, going to be a great match. Probably going to outdo themselves. They're going to top their t Toronto or take over Toronto match. Next up, we have Kushida versus the Velveteen Dream. This should be, and there's nothing on the line here. This should be a great, this should be an absolute great match. You're two really good, great wrestlers. Love Velveteen Dream. Really, really like Kushida a lot. Um,. Kushida grew on me. I love Kushida. Very talented. Um, I hope he wins the title eventually. But I'm going with... Um, they both need a win. They both need a win. I'm going to go with Velveteen Dream. But I wouldn't be shocked if they gave it to Kushida. But I would be fine if they gave it to Kushida. Because I like Kushida a lot. So. My... Prediction though is is a hundred percent going to be Valentine Dream. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but we're gonna get a great match. The next thing up here we got the main event. We have got Kyle O'Reilly. The challenger going against the NXT champion Finn Balor. This match is gonna be an absolute clinic classic. Ah, oh, I don't know who's they. They could they could honestly give us Kyle O'Reilly. 
Finn Balor just won it. I, I really don't know. I, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say Kyle O'Reilly. Just because I love Kyle Kyle O'Reilly so good. I'm happy he's getting the shot. I would really I would really like if him my my thought was him and Adam Cole could feed for the title. That would be freaking awesome. Adam Cole turns on him. That would be awesome. If he won it. Um, but yeah. And there's a mystery person going to be supposedly returning those vignettes that they've been showing for the past two weeks. People, I've seen people saying it could be um, Samoa Joe, Bo Dallas, Ember Moon. Obviously, and people were saying Bobby Roode, but it's obviously not Bobby Roode anymore. He won against the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre for the title. I'm not calling him Robert Roode. That's just a dumb name. But, um... Yeah, um, um, honestly, Bo Dallas would be good in NXT. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him on TV since the pandemic, since the B team's dead, and I didn't care for the B team whatsoever. I'll be fine. Ember Move would be awesome back in NXT. They need some women that Ember Move would be awesome. Um, Samoa Joe, I wish. Um, hopefully the, the draft, some, People from N some NX they get some NXT, NXT get some good people they get to train, like you know who oh yeah they like Kev like Ricochet would be great back down in NXT. They 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 get some guys they could bring back down that they need they could use. But yeah, that's it, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Those are my NXT Takeover thirty Takeover thirty one predictions and i'll see you guys in the next one your longest reigning iron horse wrestling champion is out of here i'll see you guys in the next video dark sean you're not gonna you're not gonna beat me come november into next month <clears throat>